tonight, the Dayton unit of the NAACP is taking action to get new laws on the books after a police chase ended in a deadly crash on US 35. 35 year old Colby Ross died Monday. Now his family and the community are working to make sure that this does not happen again. Good news reporter Grace Hewitt continues our coverage of the new task force being created to stop these types of crimes from happening in the first place. The Dayton unit in NAACP says their hearts are heavy to see this young man from a family who does good in the community lose his life to reckless driving. The Dayton NAACP hopes to call the changes they hope to make Colby's Law. The group wants to work with state and local lawmakers to look at the full weight of the law for individuals who flee from police and cause deadly crashes. What are the various uh, uh, policies and how do they align with one another within the Dayton region? And that's what's important to us. You know, uh, when we see something wrong, our job is to do whatever we can to ensure that we can make it better. Dr. Forward says this has always been in the works, but now it's time to take action. So the Dayton NAACP is putting together a task force to dive deeper into police pursuit policies and when to stop the pursuit in Montgomery County. At the end of the day, our concern more than anything right now is trying to make sure that we have a safer community in which our young kids can have an opportunity to grow up and live. Take that existing legislation that we have and take that and make that a, a, a higher legislation. As part of their eight-point strategy criminal justice reform, they also want to take into account the mental stability of individuals who cause these violent crimes. If it is an issue of a, a cognitive problem, we want to make sure that those services are being provided while one is being held accountable for one's actions. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office identified Melissa Hutchins as that suspect in the deadly crash as far as charges. The Montgomery County Prosecutor's Office is still reviewing those. Last check, Hutchins was still in the hospital following Monday night's crash. Reporting in Dayton, Grace Hewitt, 2 News.